So apparently Prime Video releases commemorative coins for immortal icons. Um. <laughs> Wes Hal, mean friend, and welcome to it, another video. You can't make this stuff up. Well, my dear friends, I made a community post about this yesterday, but it has been so popular that I just needed to make a video about it and tell you a little bit more. So what you can see at the screen is a commemorative coin that uh, is, was, is supposed to be, oh, who knows, released and the coin is depicting uh, the faces of three actors from uh, the rings of prime tv show now what is the strangest thing about this is that i have not been able to find anywhere where you could actually purchase those coins not that i want to buy it but i just want to well find out more about it and you can't find anything the only source that i have stumbled upon is the official Twitter and the official Facebook page of Prime Video Singapore. Now, <laughs> I mean, those people at uh, Amazon, at Prime Video, they are, they are really scraping the bottom of the barrel, aren't they? They are really trying as much as they can to stay a little bit relevant, at least, and they are losing each and every single time. Now, so firstly, um, who would buy these? I mean, there, there are shields that would buy them. Or more uh, specifically, or more correctly, I, w I would say, those shills would, I think, receive a coin as a reward for all their shilling, you know, for all the promotion and for all their uh, nice lies about the Rings of Prime. But other than that, I don't say I don't think many people would buy that. Um, so, and it all goes back to what I have made a video about twice already, I think, and that is the beautiful, extraordinarily and delicious lack of merchandise uh, from the Rings of Power. Now, if you follow uh, pop culture at least a little bit, you know that uh, when there is a show, when there is a film, when there is whatever, a video game, there's like merchandise, a plethora of, of merchandise. We live in a, a consumerist society. So that means that uh, months, months and months before uh, any show comes out or a film, there's merchandise of it. Uh, action figures, you know, made either by Hasbro, McFarlane, or NECA, whoever. And then uh, all kinds of different charge keys like uh, cups and T-shirts and... Uh, and sneakers and uh, underwear and things like that, all depicting, you know, the faces of the characters, because this is what makes the real money, the merch, especially then, for example, uh, to go to a little bit of a different field, um, like the American comics, or the movies, but, but, but more specifically comics. Nobody is reading comic books today. No, nobody's reading American comic books because they are shite. It's very low quality. The sales are going down and down and down, and even those creators are admitting it more and more these days. But what really sells is the merchandise. I mean, you, you can see like thousands of people wearing Marvel t-shirts and uh, underwear and pajamas and, you know, all kinds of nonsense like that. Um, so, and yeah, those abhorrent Funko Pops. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a collector of uh, merchandise and memorabilia and mainly action figurines and statues, then high end, mind you. But I just can't stand Funko Pops. It's, they, they, they used to be all over the place, and they still are. So each and every single bloody thing has a Funko Pop now. I mean, like Z grade bloody Korean bands. Music bands have their own Funko Pops. This is a pro that's, that's, that's preposterous. So, for example, months before uh, the uh, House of the Dragon... Well, not, not months, but quite, quite some time before, uh, the uh, House of the Dragon came out. They already announced that it was going to have their own series, or its own series of uh, Funko Pop action figures. There's nothing from the Rings of Power. Fortunately, there's still more and more and more merchandise from Peter Jackson's trilogy. You know, like statues by Weta Collectibles and action figures by uh, Diamond Select and all kinds of different beautiful things. Nothing that would be officially sanctioned, nothing that would be licensed 
uh, that would in any way uh, depict characters from the Rings of Power. And that uh, pleases my heart. Now, I don't know why. Um, I'm not an expert at legal matters. It might be they don't have the rights to have any merchandise. Might be they are afraid that it wouldn't sell. Who knows? I wouldn't buy it. And I believe that most of you who are watching this video wouldn't buy it either. It just um, strikes me as very, very interesting that not even a, not even a single t-shirt. I mean, not even a t-shirt. I mean, you can buy t-shirts with anything, like literally virtually anything you can think of, you can get a licensed t-shirt of, I'm not talking about like custom t-shirts that, you know, you can make your, on your own, just, just make it, you know, printed, but it's just, it's just nothing, nothing uh, licensed. And then I stumble upon three coins. So first is Gladriel, because I refuse to call her, I mean, to pronounce her name the way Tolkien would pronounce it, like Gladriel. And I also uh, refuse to pronounce Elrond when talking about uh, the Rings of Powers. Elrond, it's Elrond. And this is Elrond's um, coin. I mean, <sighs> poor guy. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then around the ear. But what is also very much uh, hilarious is that um, in the tweet and in the post on Facebook, the, the Prime Video Singapore, they uh, first showed the, you know, Galadriel. And then they wrote uh, commemorative coins for immortal icons, Ithrian. Immortal icons. Now, I do believe that Galadriel and Elrond are immortal icons. Not these versions. But what about Erondir? I mean, come on. Come on. He is a supporting character from a Z great, very badly made, poorly made TV show that pretends to be an adaptation of the works of uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. <laughs> this guy has got nothing to do with Tolkien. This guy, all, all he is, he's an activist who uh, just can't stop himself from uh, crying on the internet in each and every single interview that he's being oppressed. Help me, I'm being oppressed. I'm being attacked on the internet. People are mean to me. Without showing, uh, showing any evidence, without showing, showing any receipts. That's all he is. Like trying to grasp for that one second, one minute of attention. And one other thing, I mean, yeah, coins, commemorative coins. Uh, no, I, if you, if, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that you can have uh, like a made custom printed coin just, you know, for yourself. I think there are certain companies that do this, that you can just, you know, have a coin made. And uh, I, I don't know what that $10 sign means. Is it like an official, like, like might have the, the, the value of $10? I don't know. I want to ask you, if you know more about this, let me know in the comments down below, because I haven't been able to find anything. So, all right then. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you... <clears throat> if you want these coins or not, if you would buy them, if you stumbled upon one, and if you really know anything about it, I would appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for watching. That will be all. Now, Maria.